Hey there, friends. How's it going? We're doing the Sims 2 Asylum Challenge. And what is that, you might ask yourself? Well, I made my Sim, Jim Pickens, and he's going to live rent-free inside this asylum, which I stole from a family. I locked them in the greenhouse, stabbed them to death while giving them the thumbs up. They have a lovely wholesome blurb here, like, Oh, Morty found a great job, but Stella seems a bit restless. But I added in dot dot dot. Then they got locked in a greenhouse and died. A great way to start the video because a lot of Sims die in this one. This is the patient family. These are all the patients I have to live with, but I can't control. And there is not enough of anything for the amount of people living here. I have to try and complete my lifetime goal, which just so happens to be earn $100,000. And these people are going to be getting in my way nonstop. I'm actually worried that a few of them are going to freeze to death. They seem to be just hanging out in the snow. <laughs> and some of them aren't wearing many clothes. Military? Maybe not. Look again. <laughs> Law enforcement? No, <laughs> look again. Medicine? I, all these need intelligence. Oh, you may notice over by the viewing window, I have a chair with some balloons on it. The number of chairs was also limited, but it didn't say anything about them not having balloons. Oh, yeah, and that's the gorilla room. I forgot to show you the upstairs. I put this in by accident, but then I realized he pokes through the roof. But other than that, it's just a white room with lights. <laughs> they can go in here if they're feeling a bit overwhelmed or underwhelmed. I'm not sure which. There's an opening in the education career track is a playground monitor. Yeah, I hope they don't do background checks. Oh, and their only radio is this. <laughs> it is that time of year after all. Oh no, he needs to level up the cleaning skill. They took one bite. Clean it up. No, clean it up. Hold on, I'm working on my cleaning skills. Sorry. Just threw away the whole bowl. <laughs> How do I level this up faster? I don't want this job anymore. Yay, he made a friend. I needed that for the job too. And now he just wants to make another friend. He's being a bit greedy. Oh wait, they don't count because they're in the same household. Politics career. Now that's something he could work in. And that doesn't involve cleaning. It's a different type of dirty job. Oh my god, the line for the bath. Hey Linda, is Angus available to talk? I don't know either of those people. <laughs> Please let me bathe, man. I've been waiting here all night and they've skipped the queue. They all have the flu. <laughs> Who brought it in here? <laughs> Why were they playing out in the snow all night. How do you all stink this bad already? They're all peeing outside. Can you pee somewhere else? I was gonna talk to myself in the mirror over there. It's just psyching myself up with this bath. I want to look good when I see myself. This is gonna be an issue the going forward. I probably should put the bath in a different room because they're all having a lot of issues right now. Oh my god, I want to talk by myself. Why do you have to be in between me and the mirror right now? This house is huge. Come on. Wait, I'm controlling the wrong old guy. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be looking at your stats. Bloody Agner. He's the one who brought the flu in here as well and he's getting right up in my grill. Yeah, they're all getting sick now. Angus has gotten sick. Linda got sick too. <laughs> what? The, what are you doing outside with a cough like that? He sounds like he's dying. Oh, I was really hoping he'd bring home a friend and not just $53. I need to make him two friends somehow. I think one of them is starving to death over here. It's not the one in their underpants in the rain stomping on cockroaches, by the way. It's her which is kind of even weirder. If it was him, I get it. Wait, are you? I was cooking that. All right, I guess that works too. Oh no, it doesn't work at all. That's what you get for being hungry. Selfish. Um, do we? No, we don't. Oh yeah, that was part of the rules. We don't have a smoke alarm. Damn. Okay, I should probably phone the fire department. <laughs> there we go. Perfect, everyone. Everyone's safe, I think. Thank you for the calming piano music, by the way. Really calmed down the situation. <laughs> now Betty is sick with the flu. This is just gonna keep going around, isn't it? This is never going to leave the house. Why are you screaming at each other about robots in the kitchen? Oh man, that place is going to go up in flames so often, isn't it? And I still need to figure out how to make two friends. You know what? You know what I need to do? I need to get some sleep before I deal with this. Okay. All right, this should be much easier now. Look at all these pop-ups with the flu and not let me use the toilet. The sleep didn't help at all. Oh, great. I'm just going to piss myself in the hallway. What a great start to the day. <laughs> oh, no, he's like a dog. He's going to go outside. I'm going to move the gorilla outside. He's probably happier out there anyway. And then I can put the bath in here. <laughs> that room is honestly terrifying now. <laughs> it's just a bath in the middle of a white, brightly lit room. Oh, now Jim is sick with the flu. Blame the roommates despite being out in his underwear at 3 a.m. stomping on bugs. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, he peed. Okay. Well, that's all right. He's been eating bug spray, so I might take care of the bugs. I wonder if anyone in the house is neat. Because <laughs> it sure doesn't look like it. Kind of glad I don't need to put up my cleaning skill anymore. <laughs> what are they doing? Just hanging out in here. There's nothing in here. Go on. Get out of here. Let me use... I was going to say the sensory deprivation tank, but I think it's actually the opposite. <laughs> There's quite a lot in this room. I'm going to have to make friends, and I don't know how. I'm not allowed to, like, just wander out of the lot. That's part of the challenge. So I need to invite people over, but I don't know anyone. I only know the people in here. Oh, hey, mail person. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Hold on. Wait. No, come back. <laughs> Damn it. All right, whatever. I didn't need you. Well, I did, but I'll find someone else. Oh, he just came out of the bathroom clapping after clogging it. It's broken. Oh, winter's over. Finally, I can take off my jumper. Just like to feel very immersed in my gameplay. Like, that's why I feel as if I'm going insane with all of them. I think I'm gonna move this somewhere else because I can hear it just non-stop. No, maybe not on the roof because then I'll hear it outside. Here, the piano room. And speaking of which, I wouldn't mind a little... You can't even dance to it? Why? <laughs> I would dance to this. In fact... I actually have a lot more dance moves than that, but he stole most of them. Like, I usually just kind of stand around going like this. What are your wants, Jim? You want to make a friend and you want to kiss. We can also toss a coin in here. I don't know where all these coins are coming from, but he does want it and it's not been a great day, so I'll let him have that. Well, that's one dollar less off the hundred thousand we need. You will discover a long lost secret. Oh, I hope it's a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, there's no queue for the bathroom, probably because they're all just so grossed out by it at this point. No! Oh, God damn it, it was my turn. Okay, he's coming in anyway. <laughs> he's got that old man energy. I can hear the music louder somehow now. I t wow, it doesn't make any sense. And this person's trying to learn piano alongside it. Okay, please meet someone at work. You need some friends outside of this house. Now someone comes by, for God's sake. <laughs> oh no, he made his $53, but he doesn't sound so good. <laughs> yeah, this is not going well so far. The lifetime dream has never been further away. I don't know if this is going to happen. I need one of those sensors they put out for like animals and stuff that give off high-pitched screeching every time they come into this corner. Alice is healthy again, and then immediately popped up. Alice is sick with the flu. Yeah, this is never going away. <laughs> Jim and Agner are watching a boxing match and Jim is crying for some reason. <laughs> oh, great. Now Agner's leaving. Fine. Whatever, Agner. You're not comfortable with human emotion. That's on you. Just a little post-boxing kiss. All right, that worked somehow. <laughs> they both like that. That's great. <laughs> Good for them. Plus, I think Agner's already sick, so it, it should be fine. Oh, I called the adoption service just to try and make a friend, but they declined me for some reason. <laughs> there we go. I called the fire station and they won't think it's a bluff because we just had a fire here. Nice. I can talk to them. <laughs> they go over and give out to poor Alice. No, come back. Oh, they just find me and didn't even speak with me. This is our only visitor. I think they actually could be friends, but I don't think it would count. They have very similar personalities. Oh, there's someone. Okay, another old guy. Yeah, it just... Oh, I, I don't think he wants to stop and talk. Uh, wait. Nice. First friend. I'm so excited. I'm going to greet him three times. Oh, they like each other. Nice. Let's hang out in the snow. Our old bones will love that. Just sitting on the floor here. Nice, the friends already. They love sitting on the cold pavement. Oh, Richard's out here in his Sunday best, <laughs> destroying cockroaches. Agner's also stomping on them. It's us against them. I don't know why this war has broken out, but I think they're winning. Oh, another old person. Sit down. No, come back. Oh, damn it. All right, a non-old person. Well, let's see how this goes. Uh, sorry, you wouldn't get it because you're not old. I know we only got to three on our relationship, but Jim is tired now and would like to go to bed. Oh, if only there was a bed. Oh, wait, no, they're all starving, so they're getting up. Excellent, now I will sleep. Aha, you can't come back now. Why are they not feeding themselves? There's a few going red here, and it's a little bit concerning. I'm wondering, is it just them procrastinating cleaning up the old mac and cheese that's here? Oh, now there's a wolf in the garden. <laughs> they all look like they're on the verge of death. I think the wolves can sense it. Oh, the fridge is out of groceries. That's why. All right, that's something I have to keep on top of, I suppose. Oh, no, I thought he was upset because he was dead, but no, he's upset because of the cockroaches, and don't worry, he's he's just sleeping. Am I missing someone? I definitely had eight people a while ago. We had Agner, <laughs> Jim, Alice, Betty, John, Linda, and Richard. 
I'm definitely missing someone. I just don't know who. And I don't know where they went. Okay, now we're down another person. I, I think someone has just starved to death. Let me accept the delivery. Where are you all coming from? I'm worried. Oh, wait, no, he was dead. Never mind. I thought he was just sleeping. <laughs> anyway, can we accept this delivery before more people die? Oh, no, someone else fell asleep in the same spot. I don't know if they'll ever wake up. I put cereal down. Come on, everyone. <laughs> okay. That's a bit unnecessary, but yeah, uh, come eat the meal, everyone. Everyone, just ignore the cereal smell. I can hear spooky grumbling. Oh, because someone was dying up here. There goes Agner. He wants to resurrect John and resurrect Agner. There's only four of them now. Where are the others? Ah, there's another grave. Ah, there's another one. Okay, they're scattered everywhere, aren't they? Don't worry, I have this handy hotline to the Grim Reaper. Jim and him go way back. I think Agner's worth like $1,167. I've often thought that about Agner. That's how much I'll pay for him back. Don't be surprised if this resurrection doesn't end up to your liking. The Grim Reaper just called me cheap. Oh my god. No, I'm pretty sure that's how I left him. Yeah, this is how he looked when he was alive. Welcome back, Agner. Give us a hug. I don't know what I trust those arms to stay on for that hug. <laughs> they just pop right off. What about a kiss for saving you, huh? Oh, no, no, he didn't want that. Okay, well, one of them has standards anyway. How did someone die? Dude, I literally made you cereal. Spray. No, don't spray the Grim Reaper. Plead with him. Oh, they're playing a game. Might actually be be able to bring Richard back here. <laughs> Damn it. No, never mind. Oh, the other two just died also. So, uh, we're gonna need some more patience, I think. <laughs> it's just Jim and Agner now. At least it might get rid of the flu from this household. That is the positive out of this. I think that is why they died easily and it had nothing to do with me, right? <laughs> How rude is this, right? Six people in this household died today. This person comes in. I'm like, great, a new friend. I'll talk to them. They come in, use our piano, and put down a tip jar. <laughs> like, it's only me and the zombie here. Come on, we don't have any funds. <laughs> He's just trying to sleep while that racket is upstairs. Well, time to make some new housemates, I suppose. Look at them all, still happy, while a zombie and father time over here in the background, <laughs> knowing what's going to happen to them. Okay, who's playing piano horror music while the people approach the house? Oh, of course, it's Linda, still looking for tips. Mm, yeah, that was pretty good. I'll give her five dollars for that. <laughs> Agner's sick with the flu. Agner's dead. How can he have the flu? I can see him just coughing away down there. Okay, I believe you. They're already stomping on the bugs. Okay, I'm gonna bend the rules here. Even though I'm pretty sure the rules didn't say anything about an exterminator. It doesn't feel like I should have that power, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because otherwise it's gonna be another half a video of this. Oh my lord, he matches the bed sheet so well. I didn't even know he was in there. All right, let's call this exterminator. Quickly use this brief opportunity where no one else needs the facilities <laughs> to get my mood back in check. The exterminator isn't coming into the morning and um, they've all caught the flu now even though they haven't had no contact with us at all <laughs> they just have contact with the cockroaches which i'm beginning to think is the source of this pandemic this whole time i kind of just assumed it was me okay uh they're getting along well <laughs> he wasted her the absolute balls of this guy <laughs> to come in and just start mopping while they're using the toilet and then turn and wave no don't unclog it just use it and get it over with <laughs> he didn't even pull down his pants it's more sanitary oh no i think god is angry at what what's going on here or maybe we're just on our way to being a haunted asylum <laughs> i mean given what's happened here in the past three days i think it's earned it this is apparently fun so that's good <laughs> i just need to wait a few hours before i can throw a party and invite over all my friend it doesn't actually let me throw a party maybe it's because it's 8 a.m i oh yeah it was okay <laughs> we're gonna have a sports party without the sports or the party really <laughs> missing some of your party guests what what do you mean? I only invited one. <laughs> oh, he never showed up. That's so sad. Okay, well, Linda, the piano player, is almost his friend. I guess, I guess we can make her a friend. That would be nice. But he's slipping out of relevancy with... Makoto St. Julian. Linda's running away from me. Come back, Linda. I need to talk to you. I need a promotion. Oh, sorry about the urn. <laughs> it's a bit of a tripping hazard, actually. Let me move that real quick. <laughs> What's that noise? You haven't paid your bills. Oh my god, that's nothing. I didn't even realize when half the house had died. They made a big hubbub over that. Come on, be his friend. Yes, all I had to do was complain. 
Oh, that's the repo, man. I was scared there for- No, our couch! That's like half the seating in the house. <laughs> nice, I'm ready for a promotion. Today, too. All right, Linda, I'm done with you now. I need to go rest up for my promotion. Never mind, all of the beds are in use. I can't even wake them. Oh, is there anything I could use to make noise? <laughs> Wait, someone's getting up. Hold on, run, <laughs> run. They might just be getting a glass of water or something. No, she's sitting back down. Get out of here. I'm gonna call her over. Like, quick, come out here. And then just walk right by her and get into bed. The exterminator was here like three hours ago and we already have an infestation again. Some of them are starving and one of them's just drinking milk right out of the fridge and won't get out of the way. How are things going, Jim? I haven't seen you around much. You were just at my house before nap time. What are you talking about? Okay, quick, get to work before she stops being your friend. I'm just hoping they feed him at work. <laughs> Surely they legally have to, right? They can't let him starve. Nice, they fed him. All right, promotion incoming, 100%. Never mind, he got $53. <laughs> Maybe a pat on the back and that's it. All right, desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm getting the personality changing device and I'm going to try and get a new lifetime goal because I don't think I'm going to earn $100,000. I hate to be negative, but I don't see it happening at $53 a day, especially when he's like 84. They're all just watching him, cheering him on. Maybe knowledge? I might have something easier, perhaps. Oh, a ghost. Neat. As if this house wasn't full enough already. Max out seven skills. How many are there? One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Hagner's asleep, everyone. Be quiet. The ghosts are really pissed off for some reason. Oh, also the kitchen's on fire again. The ghost is walking straight into it, like, follow me. <laughs> They're haunting them during the fire. Oh my lord. This is the most psychotic thing I've ever seen in The Sims, I think. And I've done a lot of bad shit. Well, to be honest, gang, I gotta start focusing on me, because y'all are a handful. So I'm just gonna sleep through it, if you don't mind. Like, I've got a lifetime goal to achieve here and this one clearly isn't gonna do it so I've got another idea. If only my lifetime goal was to have a really bad house fire. That would have been very convenient. Oh, one of them is on fire. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I, no, I'm not giving in. I'm asleep. I'm having a nap. You're out of my control, okay? I'm only supposed to be looking after numero uno. And maybe Agner a little bit. But I think Agner's gonna be okay. Where is Agner? <laughs> after all he's been through, he doesn't even care. He's just left. Ah, he's bathing, of course. <laughs> he's hogging all the water upstairs. <laughs> okay, I'm calling the fire department whenever I do get up. Oh, oh, he's woken up. Oh, no, now I'm on fire. <laughs> Why has the fire come for me? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I need a moment where I can control everyone. Extinguish. Extinguish wish extinguish. That's what I get for trying to help. I should have just stayed in bed and this wouldn't have happened. Okay, okay, it's out. Thank you. Thank you. No, okay, he's dying anyway. What? The fire extinguisher killed him, I guess. Agner is not phased by this at all. Just immediately goes to the phone, calls the fire department. I like how it keeps highlighting that they're pissing themselves. Like, right now, I think we can give them a pass. Now, Agner, I need you to make one more call to old Grimy. You need to bring back Jim Pickett's for me. There we go. He's back, everyone. <laughs> they're like, what about everyone else? Jim does the dishes. It's the only appliance and counter remaining and he just casually puts them in. Okay, all right, hold on. Let's, let's stop that. Okay, they're in love. Never mind, it's too late. <coughs> God, that zombie's coughing up a lung. Like, I know he's a zombie, but he seems extra unwell. Now, on with my plan. You see, the machine is clearly not working. There's more fire in there. And now, his lifetime goal should change to be something about sandwiches. Eat 200 grilled cheese sandwiches. How much time would that take, do you think? I mean, maybe it's doable. <laughs> oh my god, immediately, he comes down and starts another fire. That's the same dude. And I was preparing food in there first. I wanted to make grilled cheese sandwiches. The fire station again. Come on. <laughs> and please put the fire out on my sandwich. I was still making it. <laughs> no, stay away. They're all my sandwiches. It's me that needs to eat 200. That's a lot of grilled cheese, man. He's eating a lot of grilled cheese. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, work is showing up. Oh, no, sorry. I forgot to tell you. I'm not into work anymore. I'm mainly just into eating grilled cheese. I'm just going to call in sick. A mouthful <laughs> of grilled cheese. Nice. The zombie's cleaning up. Good. As long as we have someone neat, I can continue to spam grilled cheese. He's in such a good mood because I just keep feeding him grilled cheese. No, 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 no. Oh my god, it was the same guy again. <laughs> he just loves cooking and it stresses me out. Okay, luckily, the others seem to be now making grilled cheese. I think I've given them a taste for it too. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm just forcing you to eat and eat and eat. Because if you think about it, like, Sims have needs, but only lack of one can kill you. The rest, I can just kind of leave him coast by. Being smelly, being unsocial, not having any fun, pissing all over the kitchen. Oh, they took the television. Oh, well, <laughs> the only thing I need is grilled cheese. Is Jim available to talk? No, he's eating grilled cheese now. He doesn't want friends anymore. <laughs> What? He just got scared to death. That happened so fast. One minute he was eating grilled cheese and the next he was gone. They scared him to death. Agner, get on the phone to your buddy now. He came back with the grilled cheese in his hand. Maybe it was kind of like a pharaoh situation and they just buried him with a load of grilled cheese. Like, hey, that's all he cared about, really. I'll just move this gravestone outside. <laughs> okay, the kitchen was just feeling a little bit crowded. I'm eating the ones off the floor and everything. Just anything to make him happy happy. Oh, another person died. I wonder what of. I wonder if it was hunger. Cause I, I was kind of hogging the kitchen and all of the grilled cheeses that I did make were in fact being eaten by myself, really. Despite the amount. He doesn't even care. He's going to bed. I'm leaving like trays of stuff for grilled cheese around the house in the hopes that they might pick it up and cook some for me. Oh, there's another fire and this time it wasn't caused by cooking. <laughs> it's just God being angry again. No, no, you guys can panic or worship that tree whatever you're doing i don't know i want nothing to do with it oh my god one of them caught fire and died how <laughs> how does this keep happening oh there's another one how many people have to die so that jim is happy because i'm willing to do it no matter what the number i'm just curious even the gravestone is on fire that seems disrespectful love how the cheery music comes on every time i go into build just to move these gravestones oh my god one just died again what was that from a shock i don't know this place <laughs> just gets worse and worse. Oh, what's this? Someone died in here also. It's gotta be the ghosts doing some of it, right? Where is Agner? Somebody tell me where Agner is now. Oh, he died waiting for the bathroom. That's so sad. You're not getting away that easy, Agner. He's like, please, just let me die, man. Every moment is pain. Just passing the time away. Eating grilled cheese. Yep. <laughs> this is the life. And before long, he achieved lifetime happiness. I know I may have broken a few rules, but then again, rules were made to be completely feckin' ignored. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.